Good morning. It is Saturday, January 27th. Today is the Make-A-Wish block party at HBN. It is about 6.30 a.m. I got Milo here with me. We just woke up. We are gonna stretch real quick, do our foam rolling, get a little blood moving, and then we're gonna get ready for the event. One thing I do almost every morning is spend about five minutes meditating, clearing my mind, and getting ready for the day by doing some foam rolling. So get blood moving both in my body and in my brain through the meditation. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch that. I won't be really saying anything too much while I'm doing my meditation, but I will just be thinking and clearing my head, allowing thoughts to come in and out, not fighting anything, and just focusing on breathing. I'll let you guys watch that real quick. All right, so with that knocked out, I do a few things. I, want, I uh, loosen up the calves, the hamstrings, the lower back, and the upper back. And then today I'll do a little bit of lats and chest, just to get completely loosened up. As part of the block party, we are having a PR contest, and I think I'm gonna do the squat. And I'll probably do some push-ups too. So um, I wanna get my body prepared for that. I wanna get just generally warmed up. It's something I do daily just to put all those major muscle groups in order. It takes me just a couple minutes, as you'll see, and then I'm ready to start the day. So typically the meditation will last about 10 to 15 minutes, um, usually closer to 10. And then the foam rolling and stretching will be another five minutes, so 15 minutes in total. That's a 15 minute time investment to start my day in third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, rather than stumbling into the day, not really getting going right, feeling a little bit out of sorts or foggy. By the time I'm done, I'm completely ready to go. I've already focused my mind on what I want to achieve for the day, what's important, what's not, and allowed my mind to come together. And I got that little bit of blood flow into the muscles to also get them operating efficiently because you really need them both. If you just spend all your time on honing in your brain, then your body will fail you. If you spend all your time honing your body, your brain won't be able to process information and make the right decisions for you. So in this world, in this life, I believe that we need to maximally develop both our minds and our bodies. And that's actually the heart of why we had to start Mental Jewels. That's why we had to separate sports nutrition from taking care of your body and your mind because we believe they're two different things. They go towards the same objective, which is to have a great life and to maximize your potential. But they're different approaches and different mindsets. So this is my morning routine, my physical morning routine right after I wake up to take care of both. I'm gonna go ahead and get changed and head downstairs to get ready to head out. I think he's hungry. <laughs> Come on, you hungry? Some food. This should come as no surprise that I have Milo on a specific and controlled diet. Of course, you give me full autonomy over the food choices of an animal, and I'm gonna be regimented about it. So I give him an exact amount of food right now, and it is something like, just like a nutrition for a client. Milo's like my kid, but he's also like my client. So I am evaluating how he reacts to this food, how his energy is, how fast he eats it and stuff like that and then adjusting it right now. He's getting two of these a day and two scoops of this a day. So I'm gonna feed him right now for his breakfast and then I will feed him again at night when I get back. Okay, so one scoop of his dry cat food, which is origin brand, super clean, minimal additives. And this is what his breeder recommended, both of these choices by the way. She left the portions up to me, but she told me what actual wet and dry food to get. Royal Canaan. He can't usually wait till I'm done, so it's kind of like making human sludge, but it just doesn't quite look as appetizing to us, but I think he likes it, so. You enjoy that, Milo. Time for us to head over to the block party, start setting up. T minus two and a half hours. All right, the stage is already getting set up. Time to get it rocking. All right, we're getting this set up going, but I have to take a quick break and do what I do every day that I know many of you are like, oh, here we go again. I already got my Pachamama, I brought it from the house. Now I'm gonna mix my Ritual and my Pro Zero in. Give it a quick little stir. 
and then shake it up. If I told you once, I've told you a hundred times, I will not start my day without Pachamama and Ritual. Must have it, and today is no different. We're granting wishes, we're raising money, we're gonna have an awesome time, but I still gotta do me. I still gotta do the things that are important in my routine. Perfect every time. Time to get to work. What are we doing here? Kid zone, push-ups, PR contest. Those are the wristbands that people will pick up if they choose to enter the kid zone, obviously, only for kids. And uh, the PR competition where you're gonna try and in that area right behind me, set a personal best in terms of the amount of weight you lift times the amount of reps you do for a total score. Winners for guys and girls in both the squat and bench press, all get prizes, and then we have a push-up contest. And we have we have badass signs to explain both contests. So we actually have to get all these signs hung up and then get our mixers going, and then we'll be pretty much ready to rock and roll. We are T-minus two hours. How many hours, Raquel? Two hours. This is the station that I'm probably the most excited about because I know it's gonna fuck a lot of people up. Your tendency with a PR contest like this is gonna be, especially as guys, girl, a girl will probably win this overall, even though we have guys and girls categories, but a girl will probably win this because you have to be strategic. You have to pick a weight that's gonna allow you to do a shit ton of reps as well. And I think I'm gonna see a lot of guys pick a weight that's too heavy and not be able to do enough reps. Again, your total score is calculated by the weight you choose multiplied by the number of reps you perform. I'm gonna probably do a 225 pound squat and do as many reps as I can. I'm trying to go for over 30, so I'm very excited about this and it's gonna call for a carb load after. You carb loading, bruh? No. <laughs> Need to grab some tape. I'm so excited that our team here, that my team is coming together to do this. Look at, look at what's going on here. Look at a bounce house. Oh, it looks like a tropical island theme. I'll tell you what, these kids are in for a treat. We got an island paradise bounce house. We'll check on that in a minute. I gotta go grab some tape. Our new inventory control area. Every single item that ships from HPN now gets scanned out, which means that our inventory is gonna be tighter and more locked down than ever before. Kid zone. Done. We are T minus one hour and 15 minutes. I swear these keys work or don't work by the day. Yeah. Oh, okay, we got it. Tablecloth. Nah, I think we just gotta go pull on this other, like, we gotta do it, like, switch back and forth. No, 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 no. No, it doesn't seem like it. It's weird because I put, I put it up. Good morning, Megan. Hi. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning. Oh, hey. <laughs> What's up, bro? Good morning, Nick. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm great, man. Yeah, what are you making? Ritual. Nice. What are you making? I'm tea? Making tea. Oh, I love tea. What tea. kind of tea? Yeah. It's like some green You're putting tea. putting sugar in your tea? Are you kidding me? What do you mean? What I is need, that I shit? need some sweet stuff in my life. How's it going? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Henry, how are you? How are you? Hey, Sean. How are you? How are you? Well, everything. Look at this elite love. <laughs> we are almost all the way set up on our sample station. Look at this. Banana maple, mint chocolate, soon to be blueberry, strawberry lemonade, orange ritual, coffee ritual, nectar, chocolate function protein, and apple function BCA. What? Are we gonna do anything with these after, you think? We're gonna rinse them and keep them. I can't, I can't have No, you can have one. Oh, okay. Look at how generous this guy is. This is a day of giving today. <laughs> I'm just kidding, give me that shit. <laughs> Alright, everything is more or less set up. All we need now is people. Give you a quick tour. We got our warehouse sale. DJ, ice truck, going down. Special guest, Frank Madrano. Antoinette. Siren. Look at what, what do you have painted on there? Is that a dragon? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know, but it costs 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend who looks that, like That's a dope attitude. She's got to go out and break the national She was kind of in the same boat, and she went out and broke the national record, and now she spent like two months in Europe racing. That's she's dope. been average. So the, the record would be the, the... What do you rate this cake? An eight. No, like this cake's an eight. Oh. It's an eight. Yeah. It's not even a nine. No, this is an eight. We had we had an argument. We had we always get you guys' cakes. How many of those have you had? <laughs> You're on a strict limit. I'm watching you. Siren, don't be taking too much cake. That's 
10. That's your 10th? That means you've had 20, Sydney. Thanks for coming out, guys. Thank you. Cool, the fire department came out to support the event. Stop by, show the kids the truck. You had a lot of fun. Uh, whatever we need, we get a lot of calls from the so we each have a platform so that we can see. So. Thanks for coming out, we appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Thank no you. Problem. Uncle T's here. What up, what up? We're about to do an airdrop. Apparently of some very risque photos. Risque. The day is winding down. Was it good? Definitely. It was good. It was our first time doing an event like this. Pretty cool to be able to host it here at our headquarters. Great energy. Great energy, great vibes, and we're raising money for Make-A-Wish. Oh wow, these are some really great photos. You'll see these online at a later date. But now I'm gonna go and do 225 for the most number of repetitions I possibly can against this guy right here. Me and this guy going head to head. Mano y mano. This is the P's de la resistance yeah. for the day. Yeah. Who can do more reps with 225? Me, this young fella here, or the dominant? How was the day? The day was great. Was it fun? Yeah, it was fun. Was it fun? It was amazing. That, that story about that kid is crazy. I know, right? He's ready. You want the clips on there? Yeah. Too bad we don't have any. All right, Nick, let's see what you got. One, two, three. 14, 15, 28, it's cardio, 29, 35, that's ridiculous, 40, I don't even want to go anymore, god damn son, I'm good, it's been a great event everyone, <laughs> Does anyone think that I have a chance to do that many, you better get 58, yeah why not, 58, oh nice, Matt, <laughs> Sydney. Woot! <laughs> Woot! <laughs> Do you want the bun cake? Oh no, no thank you. Are you sure? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I told you like oh, that one is Likewise, man. I'll be right back. <laughs> Congratulations on your big win. Hey, man. Someone had to do it. Someone had to do it. All right, I'm about to do 225, as many reps as I can. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. 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 I go hard on Southside G. I make sure that no side E. Right? So light. One, two, She said, Do you love me? I tell her, only party. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. How 35. How, how are your legs? Feel pretty good. Yeah. 35. Now, what are you going to do now that you did that? Let me eat that bun cake. How many are you going to do? Lean and mean, Rob. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right, so I want to introduce you guys. I'm still out of breath. I just did the. 225 squat challenge, 35 reps, that's a PR for me. I wanna introduce you to Tomas. Tomas is a sprint cyclist who's been rocking with us uh, for HPN for over a year now. Highly plant-based, are you completely plant-based? Yeah, I'm completely plant-based. So, are you a vegan? Tomas is a vegan and a badass cyclist. He has recently qualified for the US Olympic team and is hard at training, trying to make it happen for 2020. And we're glad to be partnering with him at HPN. He got to meet a lot of the team today. He's never actually been here in person. Amazing that that could happen today when we're trying to do something else amazing yeah. with the Make-A-Wish. So I'm actually gonna go back with Tomas right now, get him some more products that he needs to keep his training up, and we'll head back up to the front. But Tomas, 
We're excited to have you and Thank excited you. to be able to share your experiences with people. Because look, PA7 is causing a lot of controversy right now because we're putting a lot of big time information out there about it, about what it does for in increasing strength, lean muscle, and everything else. If you train hard, if you're natural, if your diet's on point, there are big time results to be had from PA7. Is that right or wrong? No, I agree. Uh, I started taking it, what, a year and a half ago? And uh, it is like the one product I won't go without. So I, I take other supplements and if I run out, I'm like, okay, whatever. But the PA7 is the one, if I'm running out, I call him and I'm, I'm panicking. <laughs> we cannot let this man run out. He is the hope and pride of America. We need him to put us back where we belong in the mix for sprint cycling. Let's get this man's product. Hey, give me a high five though. Bam. All right, we're doing another pose down. Here we go. There's always room for one more. In the warehouse. In the warehouse. All, that should be the theme song of the warehouse. There's always room for one more. In the warehouse. We harmonize. What happens when you eat too much cake? Show them. It's when we eat too much bun cake. <laughs> all right, so we've all tried Mental Jewels powder. What was your pick? What was your pick for flavor? Uh, I don't know. The blue, the blueberry. Blue raspberry. Blue raspberry, and then blueberry. More like, more like. What did he say? No, more like foosberry. Who said that? Anyway, it's from a movie. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna give Mike, Mike hasn't tried it yet. I'm gonna give Mike the cherry lime. We're gonna okay. see what he thinks. All right. Live. Live reaction. Live. Cherry lime. Uh, Bye. See you guys. Awesome event. Thank you, dude. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you guys. We love you. Thank you. I'll miss you. I love you. All right, let's go see what, actually, let's see what Nick. Let's see what Sean's ear thinks. You're, you're, you're too much. What is Sean's ear You're doing too much. Oh, you don't like, you don't like it in your ear? I don't like it in my ear. Oh, okay. Mmm, oh. look at that. Look at that shot. Nick, do something with it. Ooh, look at that. Oh, do something with it. Oh. Back on board. Nick, how's your pancreas? All right, let's go. All right. Sean, how's your pancreas? What is it? That is mental jewels powder. Powder. Oh, oh. One set make you smart. Man, <laughs> this is crazy. Cherry lime. This is crazy. Cherry lime. I need more. It's amazing. This is an improvement from the first one we tried, huh? Yeah, just a little, oh my little tiny tweak. Tiny tweak. Nailed it. This has been in the works. The powder version, the liquid version of Mental Jewels has been in the works for over a year. We've been making variation after variation, trying to get it right, and I believe this is it. Cherry Lime Mental Jewels, it's unbelievable. Like, you can be drinking this and getting smarter by the sip. Trademark that, smarter by the sip, Mental Jewels powder. All right, we just wrapped up, did a little Alpha Academy photo shoot. I wanted to share something with you guys real quick. As you saw, Aiden was here, and his family didn't even say anything. They left a card on my desk. A thank you card. Just to show you guys the impact that you can have on other people's lives. Aiden was able to go on his Star Wars cruise because of our Make-A-Wish donation. And for whatever little bit, that helped his fight against his chemotherapy and getting past his leukemia. We're honored to be part of it. We're going to... Yacht. I think they already have some Brussels sprouts frying oh, up for us. Oh, do they? Do you tell them about it? Burn them. Burn them. I ordered that on Amazon. I think that people use it. Orders are in. Hopefully they get here soon because I'm very hungry. I'm hungry too. I might take a nap so the food gets here. My parents told me that they have to go. They have, they went from. How's your food? No, I love it. it. How's something other than fries? Oh, I haven't tried it yet. Try it. Let's try it live. Wow, I never make somebody eat that. Something other than maybe, maybe you should get fries. I may have ate a little bit too much. I always go hard on the Brussels sprouts because I don't have them that often. So when I do, it's literally my favorite dish at any restaurant and it's Brussels sprouts. Freaking about out about what almost happened. All right, here we go. This is actually a good battle, I feel like. Yeah. 
Oh. Oh. Versus the, the guy who doesn't Be careful. Do One time she kicked Ace in the face. No. Oh, really? No. Done. Done. No. No. No, what? I know. She, you just broke his filming hand. <laughs> no. You done broke his filming hand, girl. For the rest of my life. <laughs> Now he's gonna have to walk around the grocery store all crazy. Show him how. Show him how. I don't. I don't usually have a cup here, and it's even crazier. High performance nutrition does not condone any of that that he just did. What a day. What kind is this one? White chocolate raspberry. Oh, the best one. It's been a long day, a productive day. I'll even say an amazing day. Nick and I both did max effort push-ups and max effort squats with 225. We burned some calories today, I would say, and we definitely exerted some muscular energy. So really relatively full body training. We did upper body training with the push up and we did lower body training and really whole body training with the king of all exercises, the squat. We both went all out with 225. I did 35 reps, Nick did 40 reps, crazy shit. He cheated though, he had carbs last night, so didn't count. You have to deduct 10 reps for that, so actually he did only 30 reps. So I want calls for something special. The day we had today, calls for something special, and that is a, a Cheeto meal. This is what we do, we Cheeto. Hey, what can we say? We have Domino's pizza. We each got our own medium. We're both doing light cheese, pepperoni, and mushroom. And then we're gonna, for the peas de la resistance, we are gonna polish off the nothing bun cake. We're gonna enjoy this, watch some TV, kick back, relax, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching today. It was a pleasure making wishes happen. Did you have fun? I had an amazing time. I know I had fun. Milo, did you have fun? Milo? Milo. Did you have fun? It literally does not get any better than this. Good night for real.